या या ओके चलो वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून विल स्टार्ट एंड सिर्फ दिस इज अवर सेकेंड रेमेडी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट वी विल ट्राई टू कैन यू जस्ट पुश इट बैक दैट मोर इज इट फाइन विजिबल मेनली पी पी टी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके चलो थैंक यू सो सी वी आर डिस्कस्ड a remedy so let's quickly recall the key points of the remedy that we had discussed in the last class by vein ha huh? okay so we'll discuss the remedy that we discussed in the last class i mean what i'm looking at in today's class is we'll quickly recall the key points and then we'll go ahead so which was the remedy done yeah. okay let us what should come to your mind when the remedy ladam is spoken about punctured. good very good beautiful i like this speed punctured into this yes what is it bites. bites bites yes there are a lot of bites for which uh, ladam gets indicated for example ladam is a good remedy for cat bite mosquito bite and of course snake bite snake bite good rat bites yes very good when there is cat there should be rat also okay so good 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 so rat bite cat bite good apart from bites apart from punctured injuries yeah we also discussed a very important point or a very important area and that was the joint affections of ladder under joints what did we explore very good so i like the word somebody immediately said small joints good this is what should come to your mind tomorrow in your clinic when you have a patient around all cases of joint affections you can't think of ladder ladder will have its own speciality and we are trying to explore the speciality of ladder somebody said small joints good agreed then ascending rheumatism ascending rheumatism beautiful there's a point diagonal. yeah diagonal what diagonal left shoulder right is good left shoulder right is and joint pains are better by cold application the injured part also in ladder is cold to touch it was a picurus okay it was a picurus so mainly we focus on the injuries and of course we also spoke of uh, the joint affections done and i told you these two questions can come up in your exams for five marks okay two important questions and then we also spoke about lot of things you know the spear affection the ailments from and uh, you know uh, what is it the introductory part what is the common name uh, prover etc etc okay hope uh, you have gone through yes sir and do you have any quick questions in ladam before i start a brand new remedy any quick questions no questions all fine okay see now now you have understood ladam we'll be starting a new remedy please try to understand the second remedy and how is it different from the first remedy that will be the challenge okay now primarily we realize when we did ladam that ladam is a very important remedy for punctured wounds should i switch off the lights or is it okay is the ppt yaar adar if you don't mind okay uh, we'll we'll continue see we realize this one yeah next next yes good yes press it good okay sir thank you thanks is it clear now is it clear okay no no she was worried for example what if uh, i press the wrong button see you should know what is going on in her mind not that she does not know pressing will switch off that minimum she is aware but she was not i mean she was afraid what if i switch off the projector switch I under I mean I assume so. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, tell it up. Okay, so see, yeah, we will we'll get back. We realize ladder is a very important remedy for punctured wounds. Okay, yeah. I mean uh, the other day, see the beauty when I was uh, telling you about punctured wound. There was one of my old patient who had an inquiry about his sister who is staying in Kolkata. And you know, coincidentally, what was the inquiry? He said accidentally. her 
two year or one and a half year old child put some sharp object into the mother's side. He says stick. He says stick. I don't know how big the stick was. He said, he says, accidentally the stick was uh, put into the mother's eye. Then, now she has got uh, problems with her vision. And they have referred her to a very good uh, Netralaya in Chennai. <laughs> Don't worry, we are not worried about this. <laughs> Let's not promote the, uh, I mean, some uh, reputed hospital in Chennai, they had uh, asked her to consult. So this guy was just checking, sir, uh, you know, can you do something? That, can you do something? Fine. Now I'm asking you the same question. Can you do something? Yes. See, this is how this is how patients will come to you tomorrow, and that's why I'm trying to tell you from day one, boys and girls, it's a serious job. Fine. Then don't don't neglect. Have fun. We have got nothing against fun, but you know when you are in a class, when you are listening to a class, your focus should be hundred percent. Now what do you answer that man? What do I answer that gentleman? Fine. Can you do something in homeopathy? Was the question. Yeah, I, I know. It's a very premature question for a first year student. But at least you need to understand these situations can happen. At least you know when there is something punctured, you know by now there is a remedy called ladam. I am not prescribing ladam if at all she comes back to me. I really don't know what the damage is. Please go stepwise. We don't know what the damage is. He says stick. We don't know how big the stick is. We don't know how deep it has entered. We really don't know anything about the case. But but the case has come to you as an inquiry, and you as a budding homeopath should know. Should we take it? Should we not take it? I am to take the case, and I am not trying to tell you like you know we'll take and we'll do miracles. That's secondary. We'll see what the case is. And I really don't know this guy will come back to me also. He wanted to inquire about the hospital. He did not inquire if you can do something. He wanted to just check with me if that hospital is good. Fine. But I'm giving you, I do let him and after two days, there's a man coming telling his sister, you know, uh, child uh, accidentally uh, puts a stick into the eye. Then, so punctured injuries. Okay. In this case, in this case, a better remedy will be hypericum. I will not give ladder. Hypericum, somebody will talk. It is there in your first year under injury remedies. I would prefer hypericum rather than ladder. Okay? Fine? Because the nerves are injured. She has got dim vision. The vision is also getting affected. So the, the nerves are getting affected. My remedy will be hypericum more than let up. If at all they come, we will see what hypericum can do a little later. So, we realize ladam is a very important remedy for uh, punctured wounds and uh, I am also trying to ask you this particular question. What are all the other types of injuries you are aware of? We spoke of punctured injuries in ladam. My question to you is, are you aware of any other injuries? Huh? Okay, it can be cuts, very good. Do you love me? No, no, one second, listen. Why are you jumping into answers? You know, a girl or a boy might uh, be standing with a small, sharp object, knife, blade. Do you love me? <laughs> Fine? No? <laughs> Fine? So here, do you think Ladam will do wonders? Huh? No, no, how can Ladam do wonders? If it has to be let him, it should have been something sharp. Okay? And you would have done something like this. <laughs> Probably there let him. But here, what is the example I'm giving? Somebody cuts. Fine? So cut injury, let him has no role to play. It is a different remedy. See, understand the beauty of homeopathy. Somebody tomorrow comes to a clinic with an injury. That's why I tell you, your responsibility is much bigger than your uh, friend's responsibility. Fine? So you have to understand what is the type of injury. And for example, if it is a blade injury, cut injury, why did he cut himself? For the sake of a girl? Or somebody scolded? He failed in his exams? What was his thought? Why did he do all these things? Becomes very important. So there is something called as cut injuries. We will cut short here. 
otherwise we'll we'll going on and on. So cutting the risk, good. And we also discussed the other day. You you come across uh, some hard surface, bruise, bruise. Okay, there can be lot of other injuries, right? Fractures, injury to bone, bone gets broken, fracture. There can be many more injuries. So here again we will be exploring one more remedy. One more remedy in which you predominantly have injuries. At the end of the class, I assume you will get a lot of clarity. Injury in Ladam and the injury that we are talking in this particular remedy, they are way apart. Okay? So, we will discuss a remedy, but this remedy has a different type of injury. So, what is this remedy that we are going to discuss? And like always, we have some objectives. Mention the common name, traditional use, habitat and preparation of Ruta. Ruta is what I will be discussing. Okay. I didn't want the name to come, but it, it has come. And we will also look at the sphere of action and pathogenesis of Ruta. By now, by now, I hope you understand the meaning of sphere of action and pathogenesis. Again, we will be discussing. So that, you know, these words keep bombarded time and again and it stays deep inside. Okay. So, the third very important thing is, I will be listing the causative factors of Ruta, okay? And we will go ahead, we will also look at the other things, the characteristic symptoms will be told, and uh, yeah, this came a little early. Describe the injuries of Ruta, very important, and we will be discussing the modalities, and we are integrating the above with the subjects of first year. When I say subjects of first year, you know, mainly pharmacy. Now, what is that we are integrating with the knowledge of pharmacy? The introductory part, especially the source, the part use, the preparation, all those things, habitat, all those things will come under in integrating with knowledge of pharmacy. What is it that we are integrating with other subjects of uh, first year? Anatomy and physio? What is it that we are trying to integrate here? Sphere of action and pathogenesis. Okay, good. So we will slowly try to understand uh, this beautiful remedy, Ruta. Okay, and uh, this is a plant taken from Google Images. Ryu, R U E is the common name. See, as promised, I will be giving you notes. Everything is there in the notes. So please focus. I know it's a voluntarily, sorry, it's an involuntary thing. <laughs> When anything is told as a student, we start writing. Whether we read or not, it is secondary. At least we have that impulse to write. We should not miss anything. We write. Okay. So with due respects, focus, we'll get back. So Rui is the common name of Ruta and uh, Rutaceae is the natural order, the family to which Ruta belongs to. And then we have few more basic information and uh, somebody was talking of habitat. Okay, let them had its own habitat. Let them had its own common name. Can you quickly recall the common name of Ladam? Marsh tea and wild, wild, wild rosemary. Good, very good. Okay. And habitat there are plenty. USA, Canada, a lot of things. In Ruta, it is mainly southern Europe. Southern Europe. Good. So in olden days, like Ladam, Ruta was used for epilepsy. Hysteria, hydrophobia, weakness of sight, bleeding from nose, and uh, a flatulent colic. When the gas gets filled and then there is pain, we call it as flatulent colic. So these were the uses of Ruta before Dr. Hanuman, you know, introduced it into homeopathy. Okay. So the full name is Ruta Graviolens. Ruta Graviolens is the full name. In short, we call it as Ruta. In short, we call it as Ruta. Okay. So this is just the uh, basic information. And as you just see, like Ladam, what had happened in Ladam? What was the part we used in Ladam? The entire plant during flowering season. Okay. So here, the tincture of the whole plant is what we are using and. Uh, the preparation is by pincher, okay? 
So what I decided this time, at the end of every objective, we will have a small revision so that you are clear. See, in the first slide, which you just saw, I am not given much information. But any information can be a MCQ question. So you, to, you need to be careful, extra careful, okay? So, <coughs> we'll uh, just look at this part. So what I was trying to tell you is, at the end of every objective, we'll also have a small uh, questionnaire so that you are clear, boys behind, focus. Now what is it that we are trying to look at is, common name of Ruta, R-U-E, Rui. You pronounce the way you want, but that is a common name. It can be a MCQ. Where is Ruta seen going? Southern Europe. If you are lucky, it can be MCQ. Right? They might take India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Southern Europe. Don't tick India, tick Southern Europe, okay? Part used in Ruta? The entire plant, the entire plant, and you know, tincture of the entire plant, okay? So this is what are the key points of the first objective. We'll quickly look at the second objective. What was the second objective? Very good. Spear of, see, you should slowly start understanding the sequence. After this, what will come next? Okay. So, what is what is it that is coming up next is sphere of action. Where do you see Ruta acting? That's very important. See, Ruta, whenever we talk of Ruta, first thing that should come to your mind is fibrous tissue. Hmm? Fibrous tissue. Now, what is a fibrous tissue? Knowledge of anatomy. Okay. So, I mean, something that binds, something that connects, something that supports. Okay, something that gives strength, right? So it's a type of a connective tissue. So Ruta affects the fibrous tissue, especially <coughs> you have uh, Ruta mainly acting on the tendons. I'll tell you what a tendon is. And it is also acting on the cartilages, right? And it is acting on the joints, okay? So if you look at this, it mainly affects the fibrous tissue, periosteum. Yeah, see, this is where your knowledge of anatomy and uh, the integration, NCH is planning, fine? You know, from your knowledge of anatomy, covering of bones, covering of the bones, the outermost layer of a bone is what we call it as periosteum. Did let them act on periosteum? Please keep let them in your mind and try understanding let them have no action on the periosteum. Do you get my point? Let them is also an injury remedy. This remedy mainly affects the periosteum first thing, tendons. What are tendons? <laughs> A structure which connects muscle to bone. Muscle to bone. So you see, this is a, a binding thing. This is a connecting thing which is making it's strong, tendon. So it can affect the tendons, it can affect the joints, mainly the wrist joint and mainly the ankle joints. And it can also affect the cartilage. What is cartilage? Huh? Okay, it's a connective tissue, good, agreed. And generally you see in the uh, surface of bones and the joints. Okay, cartilage, right? Huh? Okay, so rota, Tomorrow somebody comes to your clinic and they have an injury to the periosteum, they have some affections of the tendons or the cartilages. One remedy, one top remedy that should come to your mind is Ruta. Done? Okay. So acting on all these things, what Ruta can cause? Now what is this term called as? Pathogenesis. Sphere of action is where a remedy acts. Acting on that particular area, what is a remedy doing is pathogenesis. So here, if you just see, it can cause inflammation. See the next word, beautifully given in your textbooks. It causes deposits. 
it causes formation of deposits or nodules in the periosteum and tendons. After some time, I'll be showing you a picture. I don't know if somebody would have come across, especially near the wrist joint, you see a small growth. I'll be showing you a picture. Okay. So, ruta not only causes inflammation, ruta can also cause deposition or it can cause an extra growth. A firm hard growth nodule. Hmm? Nodule. Done? Okay. Nodules of periosteum and tendons. So this is the action of rota on huh? fibrous tissue. Fibrous tissue. Second, again, knowledge of anatomy. What is this? You are seeing the eyeball. And I'm specifically showing some area here. I'm showing or talking about the muscles of the eye. What is it? Muscles of the eye. So the eye muscles, ruta, will not affect the entire eye. Conjunctiva, sclera, iris, lens, no. It is mainly affecting the muscles of the eye. Okay, and it will cause visual problems. I'll explain a little later. Or remember, it will cause muscle weakness. Second area. And the last and third area I want you to remember is, is from the image, what is this? This is uterus. Uterus. Okay? Uterus. So uterus, again the muscles, the ligaments, the fibrous tissue of the uterus is affected. And it causes weakness of the fibrous tissue. A little later, I will be telling you what happens when there is weakness of the muscles and when there is weakness of the, of the uh, uterine muscles or ligaments. Okay? Okay? Boys, clear? We spoke of uh, two things. One was the introductory part. Under introduction, we are discussing the sphere of action. Okay? Now, where do you see root acting? Fibrous tissue, very good. First area. Second thing is muscles of the eye. Muscles of the eye. And third thing we also saw was uterus. Uterus. We will we'll discuss. Good. Keep it up. Now, we will go ahead. Recall the square of action which you have already done and uh, what is the action of fruta on eyes? It, it mainly acts on the muscles of the eye and it causes weakness. So, okay. Second thing, what is the action of fruta on tendons? Very good, beautiful. I, I like the word inflammation. Would you like to stop only at inflammation in fruta? Very good, good. It goes one step ahead. Not only inflammation, good. Sir, is that not sir? Okay. It it causes a nodule. It causes an extra growth of the tendons. Beautiful. Okay. Now the last thing. What is the action of fruit on the uterus? It mainly affects the support system of the uterus. And we'll see a little later what will happen in ruta. Okay. Any quick questions? Clear? Okay. Now. The third very important thing. What is the third objective? Sphere. Interaction, sphere of action, then, then, then ailments from causative factors. Okay. We are lucky we have Google Images where we can take images and we can start exploring. So here, what do you see is, it mainly, what do you see in the image? Hmm? What do you see? I hope I am not blocking. What do you see here? What do you see? I mean, a man is doing some repair work and uh, he is using a magnifying thing and he is doing something. Now, quick interpretation of this. He is doing some work. Yeah, he has to focus too much and what is that work he is doing? He is doing some very good, how was that? He is doing some fine work, fine work, good. I mean, I have blocked my ears, so I don't know from where the answer is coming. But what I want you to understand is, beautiful interpretation, this gentleman is using his eyes and he is doing some fine work. So when he is doing this, what do you feel is getting compromised? The eye muscles, the eye muscles get strained, beautiful. The eye muscles get strained. Stress because you are constantly observing. 
This is what Dr. Animan had written way back. In the present generation, how do you apply this? How many people working in watch factories will come to you? Okay, but you have a better lot coming to us. Who are those better lot? Excess use of mobile phones. Excess use of mobile phones, good. People who are using more of screen, computer screen. Many software engineers. 15 hours, 16 hours, non-stop they have to keep watching. And the print is very small. Okay. The font is very small and they strain too much. Okay. Again here, you see the eyes are getting tired. The muscles of the eyes are getting tired, exhausted. Okay. So ailments from eye strain is the first causative factor in Ruta. Ailments from eye strain. I strain as somebody said fine work. Stitching. Yes, good. I don't have stitching, but we can add stitching. No issues. It's a good interpretation. See, I've told you many times. Please have wide thinking. Okay? Nobody will come to you in this situation. Or there might be people coming to you in this situation. If somebody is stitching, or somebody is sewing, stitching, are reading fine print, watch making, engraving. These are all fine work which requires your eye, uh, you know, vision. The muscles have to focus on a specific thing. And after that, if they come to you with headaches, you can think of rota. So a man, a lady, who is watching screen for long, long time, and in the bargain, they land up with headache. One simple remedy could be Ruta. Now somebody, one of your friends said, mobile. The present generation, I mean, it is so dark. There's hardly any light. I don't know how you'll see. I appreciate your vision. But you know, hardly anything. There's hardly any light. But you're, I mean, you're constantly focusing there. And then, after two, three hours, your eyes get strained. Okay, probably. The better thing is, stop watching. Okay, don't take ruta and again, oh, it's low. Out of the winter, they can come low. No, don't do that. Okay, but ruta is one beautiful remedy for uh, bad effects of ice strain. Okay, the second causative factor, uh, you know, this should have been the first, this is a small mixer. What is this you see here? Huh? What is it that you see here? One word, injury. I'm happy they've gone to the next step. Good. Boys are smart. They've gone to the next step. But first thing is, basic thing is injury. No. No. What type of injury? Now you use your common sense. Go back to the sphere of action. Where is Ruta? Where is Ruta acting? It is acting on the? Acting on the fibrous tissue, tendons. Periosteum, cartilages, okay, joints. So a lot of things can come up here. There can be sprain. There can be sprain, okay? Or there can be uh, injury. For example, injury to the bone or injury to the tendon. Hmm? So injuries basically, tendons, bone, strain, over straining of muscles and tendons. Rota can be remedied. All clear? First causation was eye strain. Second causation is injuries. Under injuries, each of these things can be a causative factor. Can be a causative factor. And I also try to explore a little here. What will injuries cause? What will injuries cause in Dota? After injury, locally there can be pain. There can be some other effects in Dota. Though the injury has happened here, the other systems can get involved. Okay, for example, they can have uh, difficulty in digestion, dyspepsia. Okay, or the yeah, only remedy in our material America, which is dyspepsia after injury. Hmm? Dyspepsia, difficulty in digestion. Okay, and there can be constipation after an injury. Some injury, some way, and the patient would have observed after that injury they have gone into constipation. So that can again be ruta. 
One of our colleague, Madam, she'll be talking about another remedy, and that remedy is Arnica. There are only two remedies, which has constipation after mechanical injury. One is Ruta and the other one is Arnica. Simple, don't complicate. And third thing is, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? See, abortion. Abortion, abortion. You know, if you remember the sphere of action, I showed you the image of uterus. I told you the muscles, the support system of the uterus can go into weakness. So, abortion. Hmm? Abortion. Muscle weakness. Okay, I will discuss this under female. And the last thing I want you to understand is sciatica, which, which happens after, after injuries. Don't get confused. I am talking to you about two parts. One is ailments from and I have gone one step ahead and I have explained you what will happen because of this ailment. Now why I am taking this pain here is each remedy though may have a same positive factor, the effect will be different. That's the reason this exercise becomes very, very important. Okay? So, one last time, I have a look at the uh, slide. Eye strain, injury, and what will happen because of the injuries. Okay? One of the author also mentions injury to the chest and after this they will have tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Okay? And the only other remedy we have in our material medica is millifolium. Millifolium. This is Ruta. One more remedy is millifolium. They will not ask all these things for first years, but I am giving you little more information because you people are very smart. Okay? Huh? So, the other ailment. Next ailment. Ailment from? Ailment from? Lifting. Over lifting, lifting. Is there in the image? Okay? Indigestion. We also saw one more cause for dyspepsia. What was what was the result? Because of because of mechanical injury, there will be dyspepsia. Because of overlifting, there can be dyspepsia. Collapse of rectum. You understand the seriousness here? Can you just uh, I don't know how much of anatomy is over, but what you need to understand here is the rectum. You know, again, it's, it's got a good uh, musculature, good support system. But in Ruta, that muscles, that tendons, that ligaments, whatever are there, they become very weak. And when somebody is lifting something, when somebody is training something, see how weak the muscles are, the rectum itself is coming out. See, prolapse means getting displaced from its original position. Okay. Now these are all the difficulties in teaching for first year. You will not know what collapse is, you will not know what rectum is, but but yeah, but but you have to you have to slowly get used to this. Must be a little more of anatomy, little more of physiology, you slowly start understanding. Then hernia laga. Hernia no problem. Hernia laga. Garja ke dek na ek Okay, matlab, harniya kya hai, abhi aapko YouTube hai, uh, kitab hai, books hai. YouTube mein harniya dalo, YouTube mein rectal collapse dalo, toda clarity hai jayega. See, these things can be assignments which you, which you have to take it. But I have the limitation, I can't explain what uh, rectal collapse is and you know, then we'll be diverting. But in Ruta, you have rectal collapse. Clear or any confusion? No. Huh? Clear? Okay. So, ailments, what do you see here? I mean, a lady is in labor. Ailments after delivery. Okay. Now, what will happen after delivery? Now, what is happening in the process of delivery? 3 kgs, 200 kgs, whatever, that big thing should come out. So the lady is putting a lot of pressure. The ligaments, the muscles of the abdomen, everything is into action. So 
So what we also saw is the rectal muscles are very weak. In the process, what can happen in rota is there can be a prolapse of rectum. Done? Please visualize this. In labor, a lady in labor, she is putting a lot of pressure. Okay. The baby is out, but in the bargain, in the process, there can also be prolapse of the rectum. Okay? So ailments from delivery, ailments from what is this? You see in the image? Yeah, for wet weather, wet weather. Wet weather, if a person in Ruta gets exposed, he or she will land up with giant complaints. He or she will land up with giant complaints. Okay. What type of injuries Ruta is indicated? Injuries to? Injuries to? Injuries to? Fibrous tissue? Tendons? Cartilage and more important, covering of the bone, periosteum. Very good, good. Second thing, what is the effect of injuries in Dota? What is the effect of injuries in Dota? I showed you a few images. Huh? Very good. Louder. Beautiful, good. Indigestion. Keep it up. Is given a good clue, work on it. Indigestion. Then, collapse of the rectum. Constipation, not collapse, constipation. Then, abortion, good. One more. Sciatica, one more. Last thing I showed you, X-ray. Tuberculosis, tuberculosis, tuberculosis. Okay, good. Now, what is the effect of lifting in Dota? We saw an image here, I showed you. There can be collapse of rectum. Good. And uh, what is the cause for rheumatism in Dota? Exposure to wet weather. Exposure to wet weather. Okay? So these are all the causative factors. Uh, one second. Switch up. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so, see, that's why after every, every objective and keeping an activity, so that you are all engaged. I know, afternoon classes are very difficult. We'll get back. Now what is it that we are trying to focus here? We are looking at, we are looking at characteristic and peculiar symptom. I told you and I keep uh, telling this again and again, the results of proving will be various symptoms. Lot of symptoms will come up in proving. And once the proving is done, the master prover, you know, he decides what is common and what is uncommon. Okay, so we look at the uncommon symptoms of uh, Ruta. Okay, the first very important thing is the character of pain. The character of pain. Ladam had a characteristic pain. How was it in Ladam? Very good shooting, more than shooting. Tearing, good, agreed. Tearing, shooting, violent. Shifting. Okay, now you see here. You don't get to see all those words in, in Ruta. In Ruta, the pain are bruised. Now, what do you understand by bruised? When you get hurt, okay, you have a pain, you know, sore pain, bruised pain. When you fall, when you injure yourself, you have that pain. So, sore, bruised, aching, all over, are all parts upon which he lies are painful as if bruised. Any part in uh, Ruta, you know, when he's in pain, when he's lying down, the pains are more. Okay? Fine? And because of these pains, he can't lie down. Root operation will keep moving around because of pains. In Arnika, they also keep moving around. Now that Arnika is over, can somebody quickly tell me why in Arnica they keep moving around? You told me characteristics are over. See, get to start, okay. See, when uh, the other teacher teaches Arnica, Arnica, any part he or she is sitting, that part feels very hard. The softest part for an Arnica patient feels very hard. So Arnica patient keeps moving, searching for soft part. That is Arnika. Okay. Here, 
whenever it's lying down, the pains are more. Because the pains are more, they have to keep moving. Hmm? It's not searching for a soft part. In Arnica, they're searching for a soft part because the entire body feels uh, painful and any part he lies, he feels it is very hard, very hard, okay? So character of pains and second thing, if you quickly recall, what did I tell you? Nodules. And this is what we call it as ganglia. Ganglia. I'll tell it to you again a little later. So, a swelling over the tendon. Hmm? A nodule, a small benign tumor. A swelling over the tendon is what we call it as ganglia. So, ruta can be a very important remedy for ganglia. Okay? Third, third, I mean, this is something I kept it as a surprise. What did I tell you? I mean, collapse. You see the normal rectum and you see a part of the rectum coming down. This is what we call it as displaced from its original position. This is what we call it as prolapse. This is what we call it as prolapse. Okay? So, what is the cause of prolapse in uh, rota? Overlifting, one. After delivery, two. Third, see how weak the muscles will be there. Even if he stoops, even if he's stooping, I know there can be a possibility of collapse. It also happens in babies. Yeah, babies it's common. And in babies, many times it is because of diarrhea. Continuous stools, diarrhea, and then uh, the uh, anus comes out. Very common. Okay? So, collapse of ANA every time the bubbles move after delivery or when stooping or overlifting. Or overlifting. Clear? Clear? Okay. We'll go ahead and uh, you know this. This will keep coming on and on. Injuries. Type of injuries, you know, mainly, uh, you know, yeah, mainly injuries to the tendons, to the periosteum, to the cartilages. Okay. Pain in back. Pain in back. Okay. Amelioration movement. So when they have pain in back, if they move, they feel better. Okay? And uh, abortion. In Ruta, why have I mentioned abortion under characteristic symptom is, in Ruta, abortion happens in the later months. Abortion happens in the later month. Especially during 6th and 7th month. Abortion happens during 6th and 7th month. Okay. Me meaning the uh, mother is not able to retain the fetus inside. Okay. And for some reason, once you start treating the uh, uh, gynec and obstetrics, OBG, you will be getting a list of reasons why abortion can happen. Okay. Remember, in Ruta, you know, for example, a, la a lady might come to a clinic in future and uh, not that she is not getting pregnant, she gets pregnant, but unfortunately the pregnancy is not continuing. Somebody might abort during second month, somebody might abort during third month. Can we think of Ruta? Second month, third month, the remedies are different. Okay? In Ruta, when the lady says, sir, till fifth month it is there, sixth or seventh month, you know, I am not able to retain. It's going into abortion. I said, do bar away, thin bar away. Okay? So one remedy that can prevent further abortions during fifth or sixth or seventh month, sixth and seventh month could be ruta. If you give ruta to that lady, and the next pregnancy might continue. She might deliver a normal baby. Okay? Hmm? <coughs> so abortion and we saw this already told rheumatism which mainly comes from wet weather, wet weather. Okay? Also a very important symptom in Rota, you should have heard of warts, tiny growth which according to dermat books it, they say it is viral, they are small growths. Warts can happen anywhere, okay? 
See, for a dermatologist, where what will happen will not make any big difference. They will just burn. Hmm? If it is in the hand, if it is in the nose, if it is anywhere else, they just got trace, they burn. But for you as a homeopath, it becomes very important. Where is the what? <coughs> what is the character of what? All those things becomes important. Ruta will have those what's, those extra tiny growths over the palm, over the palm, palm of the hand, over the palm of the hand, okay? Dr. Kent also mentions people who keep working with some hard objects, the palm will become hard, 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 hard. For example, farmers or somebody you know, who are always with something hard. There, Dr. Kent, in his Materia Medica, he says, Rota can be a very good remedy. The thickening, hardening, we call it as callositis. Callositis. Rota can be a very important remedy. Okay? So, one last characteristic symptom here. What is the image? Depicting, it is depicting the J. And you need to focus over the lower J. Cancer. What is it? Cancer of lower J. For example, cancer of rectum or cancer of large intestine. Ruta can be one very important remedy. Hmm? Okay. So it can be MCQ question. Cancer of lower J. Ladam, Arnica, okay, Ruta, none of the above. Don't read none of the above. Ruta. Then, okay, so you have to focus and you have to understand. So, character of pain in Ruta? No, no, character of pain, pain in general pain. Pain, sir? So bruised. Okay, so bruised. And uh, they cannot lie on the path because of the pain and they keep moving. Okay, so bruise pain. Then, indication of root in cancer? Tomorrow somebody comes to a clinic with cancer of tongue. Can we think of root No. Fine? So we tell him, you come back with cancer of lower, <laughs> lower intestine. Then, so what you need to understand is, cancer of lower intestines. Okay, lower bubbles. More specifically, cancer of rectum. Ruta is one remedy. Okay? So, recall character of watts in Ruta. Where do you see the watts? Watts over the palms. Watts over the palms. Okay? Abortion occurs in which month in Ruta? 6th and 7th. 6th and 7th. Okay? Yeah. 6th and 7th. Then? 6th and 7th. Then, okay, so this, these are all the... Okay. <coughs> yeah. See, uh, till now, <coughs> what we discussed was, uh, I was trying to tell you about uh, Ruta, okay? And uh, three very important uh, points in Ruta we have understood, okay? So like for example, uh, we spoke of uh, introduction under which I told you about uh, the spear of, I mean, sorry, the common name, the uh, natural order, the path we use, and for what reasons Ruta was used, okay? And then we discussed the spear of action, mainly three areas, fibrous tissue, eye, and, and uterus, uterus, uterus. And then we spoke of ailment storm. Then we spoke of ailment storm. We spoke of ailment storm. Ailments are plenty. Okay. Uh, can we quickly recall the ailments? Eye strain. We also spoke of injuries. A lot of things under injuries. Over strain, over exertion. Okay. Uh, uh, what is it? Sprains. Lifting weights. Then, huh? that was the result. Okay, injury to chest can give rise to tuberculosis. Okay, what were the other causes? <coughs> we, we saw giant affections. What was the cause? Wet weather. 
wet weather. Okay. And then uh, before break, we just finished with the characteristic symptoms. Hmm? And uh, these were the few characteristic symptoms we also tried to recall. Where what can happen and uh, abortion in which month, all these things. Okay. See, now we will look at uh, three small areas in Ruta. We look at what Ruta is capable of producing on the ice. And the heading that we are going to discuss now is particular symptoms. Okay? Fine? Particularly on a specific part, what is Ruta capable of doing? Fine. Now, what do you expect under ice? You know this, you can start answering. Ice? What do you see? Ruta acts on the muscles of the eye. Very good. And it is causing? Very good. It is causing weakness. And what are the causes for eye complaints in Ruta? Working. Like, you know, for example, uh, fine work. We saw sieving. We saw stitching. We saw engraving. Watch repair. So people who are straining their eyes are people who are using laptop, mobiles for a long, long period. Right? And then, then, what is the effect of uh, all these things? They land up with headache. Headache, okay? Not only headache, you can also see the eyes getting red. The conjunctiva becomes red, painful from reading fine print. I want you to understand this point here. Tomorrow, somebody comes to you with conjunctivitis. Okay. Ruta will get indicated only if it is because of fine reading. Okay. Somebody has conjunctivitis, somebody has eye infection, viral conjunctivitis. There, Ruta has no role to play. Okay. See, many of you should have had this uh, during summer. We have. Uh, Madras side. Fine? You know, their ruta will never get indicated. Because that Madras eye came because of a viral infection. That redness of eye did not come because of eye strain. So if it comes because of eye strain, and only because of eye strain, ruta is the remedy. Ruta is the remedy. Okay? We'll go ahead and uh, I was also trying to tell you because of all the eye strain, not only headache, the eyes can go into weakness. The eyes feel tired. There can be dim vision. There can be dim vision. Okay, there is a term called as asthenopia, where eyes become tired, eyes become weak. There can also be dim vision. Okay, so this is all what you will be remembering under eyes. Acting on eyes, and more specific acting on the muscles of the eye. Weakness, headache, redness of the eye and yeah, dim vision or tiredness. Muscles go into weakness under eye. Okay. Next, what is this? Rectum. Rectum, rectum. In rectum, what you see is it is causing prolapse. What is the cause for rectal prolapse in Ruta? After delivery, or it can be yes, I heard the word right, good. It can be stupid, stupid. Okay. So collapse from all these things. See, not only collapse, Ruta also has constipation alternating with. Collapse. Yeah, I, I should have asked this. Okay. <laughs> now that it's been exposed, one more very important symptom under rectum where Ruta gets indicated is. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Okay? Anna idea. Cancer, okay. And the last thing what you see here is constipation alternating with mucus frothy stools. I'll explain this point. There is constipation. Go with this sentence. And constipation alternates with mucus frothy stools. What do you understand by alternating? What do you understand by alternating? When this is present, that will not be present. Okay, meaning when there is constipation, they will not have for these tools. Okay. So constipation and for uh, next week they might have for these tools. Next week they might again have constipation. 
Is this confusing? See, there's a constipation. Okay, for example, assume for three days, stools are hard, constipated. Next three days, stools are mucus frothy. And next three days, again stools are constipated. And again, this continues. So this is what we call it as alternating. Okay, in Tuja, constipation alternates with mucus frothy stools. Okay? Hmm? Frothy, frothy. Frothy means in uh, local language, Norianti. Norena. Yeah. Soap, for example, soap water. Okay, frothy. Frothy, frothy. Hmm? Like, you know, uh, you know, when you have, uh, when you, yeah, when you add uh, any powder, detergent powder into a, a bucket of water and you mix, it produces what of? Lather. So for this toast. Done? In one remedy, uh, you know, that remedy has uh, stools resembling like popcorn. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the students, many of the homeopathy students, after I told that remedy, they started hating me. Sir, Jadbi am popcorn kate na. See, the remedy is a first year remedy, somebody will talk to you. And that remedy is Sina. Sina, when somebody does Sina, when stools are poor, please close your ears. So that you can continue enjoying your popcorn. <laughs> Otherwise, it will be an emotional block. <laughs> okay, tell us. Now, the last part of Rota. Now, before I take up the last part, what did we discuss before this? We discussed the eye affections and we discussed the uh, rectal complaints, rectal complaints, fine. Now, what you need to understand here is a five mark question commonly asked in your exams injuries of ruta. You already know. So, injuries where I am telling it to you for the third time injuries where injuries of the fibrous tissue. Good, then go ahead. Injuries, injuries of ruta, fibrous tissue. It can cause inflammation or it can cause nodules, nodules. Like I told you, over the wrist joint, there can be ganglia. Okay. And what is the character of pain when they are injured? What is the root of patient feeling? Bruise, sore pains, pain. When is the pain more? On lying down. So what will the root of patient keep doing? He keeps moving. In brackets, you write rest parts. Somebody will talk to you about rest stops in future. They come very close. Okay? So, injuries, this we have already discussed. See, this is very important, this box. Chief remedy for injuries are bruised bones. Character pain, sore, bruised, aching, sprained, pains are better by motion and aggravated by rest. So, these sprained pains, when they keep walking, they feel better. They will not experience the pain much, but when they are resting, the pains are more, the pains are more, okay? And uh, hard nodules, we saw this, over the tendons of, and periosteum, from overuse or after an injury. They get injured to the wrist, and the wrist starts producing a swelling. Remedy is rota. Don't give ladam, don't give arnica hair. Remedy will be rota, okay? So, going ahead, the synovial membrane, the synovial membrane will get inflamed after injury, okay? And, and mechanical injuries of the carpal and tarsal bones or tarsal joints, okay? See, I have been trying to tell you that ruta mainly affects the periosteum, okay? So, what is it that indirectly you will get to know here in ruta is, it can be a very good remedy for fracture. It can be a very good remedy for fracture. It can be bike or any accident. Fracture. Okay. Now, I told you in the last class, when you prescribe ruta, the fractured bones will not come close. Fine. 
So your sir has given rota, chalo, rota diya, aja, pass aja. It will not come close. Okay? Many times I told you, it requires bolt, screw, okay, orthopedic surgeon's help and all those things. What can rota do? It can do two very important things. One, one, pain. Pain can reduce. Okay? Second, good, it can help in healing. There is something called as callus formation. Okay? So healing happens through callus formation. Okay? And Ruta has a capacity to improve callus formation. Done? So Ruta in fracture, it can reduce pain or it can help union by, by callus formation, by increasing callus formation. So this is very important. Okay, it can reduce pain or it can aid in callus formation. Now, this is something which we already discussed. The effect of injuries. What is this? Difficulty in digestion. What are the other four five things that can happen? Dyspepsia. Constipation good. Here, what else can happen because of injuries? Okay. Collapse is more of lifting, chalo, constipation. We have already discussed with images. What else can happen? Very good. Sciatica pain, good. Sciatica pains. Huh? Tuberculosis after chest injury, good. What was the remedy I told in brackets? Millifolium. Millifolium. M-I-L-L. In short, I have written. Millifolium. Okay? So you see sciatica, rightly said by your friend. You forgot this, abortions and constipation, you told me this and this is tuberculosis. Okay. So these are all the things that can happen with injuries or because of injuries. Hmm? Okay. Now the last part will be a quick revision of all what we did. Eye. What happens to the eye? Muscles go into weakness. Why muscles are going into weakness? Because of the fine work, fine work, okay, sieving, stitching, see now stitching we have missions, so somebody, tomorrow a tailor comes and he says sir I stitch cloths, don't give him rota, because the stitching is happening over a machine, traditionally if you see the stitching like you know, you know how much I will be used in doing all these things, then, so, be very judicious when you have to understand. So, sieving, watch repair, watch box are where minor things they have to focus. And the result will be, what will be the result? They will be coming up with headaches or they will be coming up with redness. Or, one more thing they come up with is, what? Asthenopia. Uh, tired eyes. Bim mission, idal ILA. And then we spoke of for rectum. One thing, dangerous thing that can happen in Dota is cancer, cancer, cancer. Second, that can happen here is second dangerous thing can be collapse. And last dangerous or least dangerous thing is constipation alternates with frothy stones. Frothy stones, okay? Hmm? And five more question, injuries, injuries, okay? Where injuries, what is the character of pain, what is the effect of injuries, all those things will become important, okay? Now modalities, hmm? what aggravates, okay? Lying down, so you got a lot of things, over exertion, eye strain, cold air, dampness, lying, sitting, stooping, menses during getting wet or wet weather. What ameliorates? Back pain, aggravation lying on back. Warmth, motion, rubbing. Warmth, motion, rubbing. These are all the ameliorating factors. Amelioration means? Better. Aggravation means? More. When it is more, when it is less. Clear? Okay? Anyway, one quick revision we will be having. All of you, 
your attention and uh, come on in. This we can skip. See, habitat and preparation. Entire plan. Okay, southern Europe. Good. Sphere of action. First is fibrous tissue. Picture. Fibrous tissue. Second is muscles of the eye. And third will be uterus. Uterus. Good. Okay. And again, when you talk of fibrous tissue, Ruta's main affinity for good periosteum, tendon, cartilage. cartilage. See, tomorrow if you have to realize the periosteum, tendon or cartilage is affected, you should know in anatomy what they mean and where are they present. Tomorrow somebody might come injuring his tendon, but unless you are not aware it is a tendon, you can't prescribe Ruta. So this is where knowledge of anatomy, knowledge of physiology is equally important. Clear? Okay? Now, uh, causation of root time? Other than injuries? Other than injuries? Sensitive? Fine work. Eye strain? Eye strain, over lifting? Over lifting. Then, exposure to which weather? Then, complaints after delivery. What will happen in Ruta? Very good. Good. Collapse of rectum. Good. Then. Huh? Okay. See, uh, yeah, stooping can cause prolapse. Okay, so ailments. And then, characteristic were plenty. What? Where are the what's in Ruta? Arms. You should not forget. I know, few of you might be bored, but this is how we have to keep banging, okay? The more we bang, the more uh, it will enter. That, huh? It is told now even iron. Yeah, somebody is doing that. <laughs> now, coincidentally, somebody is doing that. They, you know, they are banging so that it gets into a shape that they want. And we want you to understand. So what's mainly work for it? What's mainly what? Palm. Not for it. Okay, good. And then? Nodules. Mainly coming from? Mainly coming from where? Tendons and periosteum. Very good. Pains? What is the character of pain? Sore, bruised, aching pains. Good. Chalo. Third. Abortion during which month? Six and seven. Later months of uh, pregnancy. Done. And then uh, anything else? Cancer, good. See a rectum. Or see a lower bowels, lower intestines. Huh? Okay, then any other characteristic symptoms? Sciatica after injury. Okay. Constipation alternates with southeast toes. Good. So, okay. And uh, very important for you in your exams will be injuries. Okay. What are all the modalities? Aggravation, over exertion, cold air, lying, okay, and better stooping, yeah, during menses, aggravation, and better by movement, and better by warm. If they cover themselves, if they keep themselves warm, they feel fine. Wrapping, warm, okay. <coughs> so, any quick questions in Dota? Before we close, okay. Again, you know, for a student, I know this will be very important. Uh, injuries for five marks and MCQs can come from either the interaction or from the characteristic symptoms. Okay? Hmm? Done? Okay.